Hello guys, this is Shine from Simplex and today we are going to record a video about a Sony headphone. Now the best part about these headphones are that they are the latest products by Sony in the H.E.A.R. lineup. They are marketed as high resolution audio products. Let's dive into this review and see how is exactly this high resolution product. So you get a red box inside the main packaging. The main packaging is pretty boring so I ripped it off and I threw it. This is what matters. This is the red box inside the main box. So let's get started. Uh, the packaging is pretty neat. So inside you'll get something like this, right? And the headphones were placed inside this in a folded way. So yeah, this is pretty good for carrying it around. Now let's get this out of the way. Next part is the cover. Now everything is packed and sealed as you can see. Now inside the cover, it's made out of this soft fabric, which is pretty awesome guys, honestly. And this is what the case looks like. So let's get this out of the way. And lastly, here is a bunch of manuals that you will never need, right? So, and now it's an empty box. So that's pretty much it from the packaging section. This has a pretty decent and sweet packaging. This is the Sony MDR100. These were provided by IT Arena. They are our sponsor guys. If possible, please go to their Facebook page and drop a like over there. So, this is the Sony MDR100 and it's also known as the H.EAR ON, which is essentially Sony's answer to Sennheiser's Urbanite and Momentum lineup and the Beat series of headphones and Audio Technica ATH M50X and I can go on and on. Basically you guys get it. These headphones are targeted at consumers who needs a portable headphones and you know can spend a, from somewhere between 10,000 to 15,000 rupees Indian currency and uh, 200 to 300 dollars USD. The prices do vary. Now getting into the build quality of this product. This product has aluminum ear cups, right? This joint is made out of sort of aluminum. Why do I say sort of aluminum? Because it's difficult to say what exactly the joint is made out of because the headband again is made out of plastic, but the hinges are made out of aluminum. So though the product has an overall metallic color finish, the build quality varies from aluminium to plastic to aluminium. So overall, it's pretty sturdy. The flex of these earphones are decent. You'll be able to use these earphones comfortably when you wear them over your ears. Now the best part about these is that it gives you a snug fit. If your ears are a little too big, then probably it will not fit you. But other than that, it should be pretty okay. Though it is too small compared to my liking. I like the Sennheiser's big fit. So like something like this. I, I like the fit of these headphones. Now getting into the comfort. The comfort of these headphones are, I won't say insanely awesome, but these fake leather pads gives you quite a nice fit. And the, you know, push factor of these headphones, the way they clamp against your head is very very comfortable compared to other portable headphones for instance the ATH M50X from Audio Technica which has a much you know tighter fit that can be pretty painful for the ears after prolonged use that is what this excels at after prolonged use this absolutely feels awesome now coming to the cable the cable is detachable right it's got a microphone and the microphone quality is pretty decent. It's got one key, just one key, so no volume control access. The cable is serrated, thereby reducing all the cable tangling hassles that you might have. Okay, here's a quick live demo. Let, let, let's tangle this up, right? Trying my level best to tangle this up. And unfortunately, I can't. So, this is what I was talking about. It's tangle free. But the tangle free wire has something else that 
it comes with. It's got three contact points over here and three over here, thereby giving you stereo headphone control, uh, microphone control, and also voice. The microphone, like I said, is pretty awesome. But kudos to Sony for including a detachable cable because that makes it really, really nice. Okay, because if these wires go bad, you can just replace them. Now, these headphones are available in five colors. The colors are on your screen. Before I talk about the sound, guys, go through the specifications of this product, which is right now being displayed on your screen. If needed, pause the video and glance through it. Now, the last bit. It's fine, Shan. It feels good. It's pretty comfortable. The fake leather pads, though a little warm, but give you more or less a decent acoustic seal. But how does it sound? It's after a, a pair of cans, isn't it? Well, now here's where I have to say a number of things. Firstly, for a portable pair of headphones, the sound is pretty decent. And what the first thing I noticed was the mids on this was there. The highs, though not very sparkly, but it is present. The bass is toned down pretty tight and it's present but where I was disappointed by this product was the actually there were two things first is the sound stage provided by this and the second thing was the separation of the say different instruments being played in the sound it has a good dynamic range make no mistake but the separation of the instruments was where I found this to lack now, it's going to be a little unfair, I'm going to compare it with probably the HD558 where I feel that headphone absolutely excels, for that matter even HD598 excel even more. But it's kind of unfair. Comparing these uh, with somewhat like an ATH M50X that has a better bass response but this has better mids and better highs than the M50X. So overall, the sound is not mind-boggling but it is something really decent and nice to listen to especially on those long bus commutes I can promise you these headphones will seal out the noise more or less not like an active noise cancellation headphone and will also give you a decent music quality so sound is okay pretty decent right so from simplex this product gets an 8 out of 10 so guys, if you like this video, drop a like. If you did not like it, dislike it, no problem. But leave me in positive criticism as to how can we improve ourselves. And lastly, and most importantly guys, please subscribe to our channel so that we can make more such awesome videos for you guys.